basketball year league. Uh, I'm Mr. Gorski, uh, Mr. G. Uh, I go by either one. So, uh, yeah, I'm the uh, art teacher here at Roger. Uh, Roger's one of the art teachers. Uh, Miss Aaron teaches ceramics, and I teach drawing, design, painting, and AP art. So, what got you into art? Uh, basically, I've been doing art uh, my whole life. Uh, you know, I guess nowadays, parents, in order to shut their kids up, they're like, here, here's the phone, stop, so I need to handle this. And uh, these didn't exist when I was a kid, obviously, and uh, my parents would hand me a piece of paper and a uh, pencil or a box of crayons or whatever. So, uh, so yeah, I, I just grew up always drawing, uh, pretty much age two to age 47, even though I look like I'm 67, so. <laughs> you went to art school, right? Yes, uh, I went to University of North Texas uh, for my bachelor's in art. I uh, also went to uh, Morgan State University for my master's in uh, landscape architecture. So. How did you know you wanted to just do art? Um, well, I think probably starting off, I, I didn't quite know what I wanted to do, even going into college. Uh, just just kind of uh, accepted that everybody goes to college. and. Um, I ended up, I knew I wanted to do something with art, um, kind of wasted a couple years in college and then uh, had always thought about teaching art and uh, finally, probably my sophomore year of college, I set my major to that and here I am. Why did you want to become an art teacher? Uh, mainly because I, I enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed the whole aspect of teaching, I enjoy helping people, um, the thing I enjoy most about it is, uh, you know, basically giving students the opportunity to work with you know, art materials, and kind of teaching them some techniques, kind of here and there. But mostly, it's sort of just uh, opening up the world of possibilities with art. So, what kind of art is your favorite kind to make? Uh, it's a tough one. Um, I pretty much uh, I do a lot of drawing. Um, probably it's the one I do most because it's easy. Uh, you don't have a lot of setup, but what I enjoy probably most of all is oil paint. Um, I did my first oil painting when I was seven years old. So. Could you show us your favorite drawing? Uh, that's a tough one. Uh, let's see. I could show you my probably my most recent one was this guy here. It's a, a portrait done in ink, ballpoint pen. Um, probably one of the other favorites. This one's done with traditional uh, dip pen uh, with ink. And I like, this one's probably my favorite though, uh, mainly because it's combined uh, something I did. I started one aspect of it, like uh, didn't finish it, came back two years later, added another piece, and then another year later, then added all the rest of it uh, to make it a finished piece. So this one. Uh, sort of a surrealistic uh, painting that I did, kind of corruption of government. <laughs> uh, this was a collage, uh, which can actually be turned multiple directions. This is done with colored pencil on the bottom, uh, acrylic paint up top. This is another one uh, done with Conte crayon. Uh, and then this was the one that got best of show, which was just a portrait I did. Uh, interesting story on this one is I was actually bedridden for two weeks while working on this one uh, after being hit by a drunk driver right before graduating from school. So um, lucky I survived that. So. Have you ever seen a student's artwork and got an idea of like you wanted to draw something like that? Yeah, there's a lot of times where I've seen uh, some students working with uh, different materials and, and using different techniques, and I'm like, yeah, kind of definitely learn from my students as well as, as them learning from me. So, yeah. Thank you for letting us interview you. Absolutely, absolutely, my pleasure. Very good.